Hello, and welcome back to the L1 show. Today's September 30th, and we're doing robot and nonsense stories that we're, you can share. We're going into October with a bang. I didn't oh, say don't say that, because well, that might be true. Oh. But we're recording <laughs> in the past. With so. a mushroom cloud. Uh. Uh. Well, uh, AI is soon to be our new overlord. It's here. We're not going to get rid of it at this point. That's, that's like gunpowder. That genie's out of the bottle. Yeah. So. We're going to have to learn to live with it. One of the ways that you might not consider living with it is it might be using you, your picture, to train itself and then to create new things. It's You're an ingredient in these horrible dolly images. So what can you do about it? Well, probably not much, but at least you could know. The site tells you if photos of you were used to train the AI. You may be the mother of Loab or <laughs> which, Loab or which, whatever. Which will probably be retained and then re really used to train another different AI at some <laughs> point in the future. <laughs> kind of kind of cool, though. Uh, have I been trained? Of course, they're using the naming convention from Have I Been Pwned. Yeah. Nice. I don't think it's that guy, though. And, Krista, when you're out in the wilderness, do you feel like all of that oppressive surveillance and, you know, corporate overlords you feel like it lifts off of you just a teensy bit but this story along with some others i i've heard right. you yeah. should not think that because yeah. in fact soon there will be nowhere there will be no frontier to which you can go and be outside the uh, the gaze of sauron t-mobile 5g is linking the wildfire detection of the ai cameras to put out fires faster so basically it's just they're just wireless cameras. That's all it is. They don't even try to make them look like a tree. No. I mean, I'm sure these aren't everywhere. They're probably like places where old watchtowers are. That guy that makes the violins and the fire watchtower is going to be real upset. Mm. There's a, There was some stories online I've heard of people like they'll be camping like, you know, way out in the back country and they'll be camped and then uh, there'll be a wildfire nearby, but I guess they have like helicopters with infrared and they're trying to get people out of wildfire areas So then they'll send a park ranger in to where those people are sleeping They know where they are from the infrared and then they're like hey you need to go There's a, a wildfire nearby. That sounds insanely expensive It is but they have to check to make sure people aren't in those areas before they close them You say have to <laughs> I would disagree with that. I would say when you go out into the woods You kind of sound you know, it's like okay, you're on your own. You're on your own. I guess. Yeah that's like when people get trapped on a cliff or something. It's like, oh, we got to take the helicopter. Now we don't have to. <laughs> and I bet you the next person won't do that, or at least fewer. Now we talk about AI generated content. Boy, is it flooding. I mean, there, it's just like a fire hose at this point. So what can you trust? Well, nothing. And that's creating a bit of a problem for people who sell that kind of thing. Getty Images bans AI generated content over fears of legal challenges. And AI generated images on Shutterstock that were fun while they lasted and profitable. Yeah, so things generated by AI may not even be eligible for copyright, which is awesome. Or, or it could be, and then you've sold it and you don't know who those people are and the who lawsuits come yeah. pouring in. That's what they're afraid of. The Disney Corporation really probably wants everything to be copyrightable. Yeah. If your dolly creation looks even the slightest bit like the Little Mermaid, yeah. they're probably going to think about it at least. Yeah. They're going to explore their options. But it turns out that some of the safeguards that have been put on the robots are now be, uh, being removed. And I didn't really find a good explanation as to why here. Did you? Because they Just, want money. That's, yeah, yeah. That seems to be. OpenAI begins allowing users to edit faces with Dolly 2. So oh. previously you could not have a real person. Now you can have a real person, but not without consent, unless it is you, presuming that you can consent for yourself. And I'm sure that they will absolutely have excellent safeguards proving consent and that they won't just have thousands of images flooding in from all over. How would you do that? Exactly. Does it have to be an NFT? A consent NFT? Ugh. Uh, and the New York Times, God, the New York Times, have they fallen? They actually tried to sell us on the idea that some of this AI stuff is actually good for us because it can actually help us fight back against the evil faceless corporations. <laughs> I like the tech dirt take on that. This No, the solution for criminal defendants is not more Clearview AI. So this was uh, this is about a case who there was a guy that died and the police were pretty sure that they got the right guy. 
But it wasn't that guy. It's a car was, accident. Yeah, it was a car accident. It was a good Samaritan that came along and did stuff and then disappeared. And so the police were like, how do we find the good Samaritan? Clear view well, AI. So the guy, there were two people in the car. One of them died. And they said, he died and you killed him because you were the driver. And that guy was like, I'm not the driver. I was the passenger. And they're like, well, I'm pretty sure you were the driver. Because we have eyewitnesses that said you came out of the driver's side. And he was like, yeah, there was a tree sticking in the passenger side. I couldn't get out that door. The guy dragged me out. I was unconscious. He dragged me from a burning car through the driver's side. And they were like, no, we're pretty sure you're a murderer. And so he had to use the clear view to find the guy who saved him so that he could be like, yes, I dragged him out of the passenger seat. He was not driving. The driver was thrown from the vehicle. And the New York Times is like, look, AI, it's good for us. <laughs> then they ignored the fact that, first of all, the cop did not record the information of the Good Samaritan. So, crappy Problem cop. Right there, yeah. That's against the policy. And the prosecutor ignored the, uh, the camera, the body camera, of the Good Samaritan saying, yeah, dragged him out of the passenger seat. <laughs> they didn't submit that to court. Wow. Oh, they found that. Yeah. That's just the terror of the legal system. <laughs> just incompetence. Yeah. AI really didn't have that much to do with that story. And it turns out that AI can catch you at cheating. Academic publishers turn to AI software to catch bad scientists doctoring data. Well, that's actually kind of exciting. But will it work? You know, there's some big promises here. But like everything, uh, you've learned to take it with a grain of salt. Because it's like, AI hey, did this. It's always crappy. It's always crappy. So apparently when you're doing a really technical paper or whatever, a lot of these guys, they'll take like a picture of a cell, of a slice of a cell. And they're like, yeah, so here's the cell doing this. And over here is where we observe the cell doing this other thing. And they just take the same picture and rotate it. Because who's <laughs> going to know? Uh, who's going to look at that and be like, that's the same cell. Well, it turns out AI. AI can do exactly that. It was a pretty high number that they caught doing that too, wasn't it? Like of the samples they checked? Nah, it wasn't too crazy. It was like four or five out of hundreds. But still, when all you got to do is run it through an AI, yeah. why not? Now, there could be other stuff that AI hasn't caught on to yet, but I bet it will. And this, you know, I would file this under the whole thing where it was like, hey, listen, guys, AI and robotics are not going to replace humanity. Don't worry. There's not going to be a jobs holocaust coming up soon. That's definitely not going to happen. Definitely not. China, robot installations grew by 44%. Never mind Flippy. I can't wait for one of our local restaurants to get Flippy. I want to go and take pictures. I'd love to see the... the that man is back again. This guy down the street get Flippy and just like constantly be at war with it. You know, yeah, he's so screaming angry. at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, I have a younger cousin who mentioned he was interested in like uh, getting a CDL and being a truck driver. And I was like, uh, might not be the best thing to go into. I mean, it probably would be fine for a year or two, but yeah. I don't know. Cause we got all those truckers in our Twitch chat and they don't make it sound like a, a job you want. Yeah. I was like, uh, might, I mean, get your CDL, but it might be cool if you were a truck driver driving a fleet of truck robots. That would be worse. You have so much more to worry about. Yeah. You increase your chances of having to change a tire by like a crazy multiplier. Yeah, I guess that's true. One hose breaks. You got to stop the whole fleet. Where are you going to park a whole fleet? Where are you going to sleep? <laughs> In the cab. The robot takes You have over. to park the truck. That's a big deal. You go to Bucky's. Uh, Bucky, yeah. you know, that have oh, that's right. Bucky's. Yeah, no oh. truckers. There's no trucks. I've seen a couple of trucks pull in there and see that sign and then like keep going, but there's nothing beyond it. Yeah. So you're going to have to deal with those roundabouts in a truck. And it's like, oh, oh. Man. I bet that's, that's very angering if you're a trucker. <laughs> it does make Bucky's a nicer place, though. I thought of a better headline than this, but I'll share it after we do the thing. Well, this one's not like clever or anything. <laughs> Let's hear it. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover finds intriguing organic matter in rock. The headline should have been, NASA's Mars Perseverance rover finds oil precursor in rock. <laughs> Shit, we need to colonize it. <laughs> but they they wouldn't necessarily have had the the enzymes, right? Right. I mean, it's, it's like, oh, it's, this this could be could be something. We could we could get some oil or coal. The on, U.S. is already there on Mars. So uh, yeah, some kind of organics. 
and uh, it's more than we've ever found before, but not the first time we've found organics yeah. or traces of. It seems like Mars might have had something at some point, but that was a long time ago, and now it's just dead. Yeah, but still, that's that would be impressive if it did have uh, life for a while. But that would also be our future. Yeah. Which is not something to be excited about. It'll be like in the Raised by Wolves thing, now that it's canceled, like in Spoiler, right? Where it's like, we were already here. That was, Earth was the planet. For, we did the same thing again. We just forgot. Ah. That's kind of just Planet of the Apes again. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Now this one's an older we, story, but we did, uh, we did this one last week too. Did, did we? we? We did. No, Are I thought sure? we missed it. Did we talked we? about it, but I I didn't get in the list for whatever. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think it was in the list. I don't remember recording it. Let me. I, you know what? We've lost the video because we vamped for too long. It looked like. Um, <laughs> now it's just. I remember <laughs> it because it, one of the police was like, "Let me just lift the caution tape yeah, for you," yeah. and it's like, "There you go." Well, yeah, so it's just a robot. Food delivery robot rolls through L.A. crime scene in viral video as confused cops look on. They're like, well, I guess. I guess this is okay. <laughs> what if it just took some evidence, like it, it just grabbed like a knife or something and then shoved it in? The real, the greatest thing would have been, if it, I imagine it has like speakers to communicate, right? Like what if it just played straight out of Compton the entire time I was trying to do that? <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's not much of a story here, but I like to always take a look at what the James Webb Telescope is presenting, and it's really impressive. This is cool. New web images capture the clearest view of Neptune's rings in decades. I was like, this should be a poster. Scroll down. There's another picture of it too. Wait, this is a. Oh. Oh, it's just with or without the. It's not a great use of the slider. No, it? but they were like, you know, we paid for this feature. We should use it more often. Is this the one you want to see? Yeah, yeah. It's, you can see it a little bit better. It's bigger. That would make a great. Uh, ball skin for Rocket League. Yeah, or that other game you play. The golf one. I can't yeah. remember the name of it. I was going to use that one, but nobody's ever heard of that one. Uh -huh. Turbo Golf. Turbo Golf Racing. That's what it is. Yep. And uh, some, we haven't really had, I guess like the, the 40 series NVIDIA cards are, are, that's a hype event. And we had the processor stuff. We haven't really had a big hype tech event this year, right? We didn't have like the cyber truck. We're, we're going into like new processors from both teams and new GPUs from both teams. And it's, it's going to be a crazy fall. But it's iterative. Yeah. We need something new and exciting. And I think this might be it. Elon Musk faces skeptics as Tesla gets ready to unveil Optimus Robot. Didn't they already unveil it? And it looked like the spacesuit, but with robots inside it. I don't know. Yahoo didn't give us any pictures in this article. I figured that's because we hadn't seen it yet. I remember they did an article. I think that was just the spacesuit for SpaceX. Maybe is what you're thinking of. But I might be wrong. But yeah, there weren't any photos in that article. In Musk's usual manner, he's, you know, garnered headlines but saying that it could be a like a helper bot, it could be an industrial bot, or it could be a partner or cat girl. Yeah, I saw the cat girl thing. And I was like, of course, that's the only thing. It could never be a cat boy. I think we should only get cat girls through genetic manipulation, not robotics. Mm. It's not the same. This one also, I kind of had a, a dark reaction to this, but. This will only be used to convince us that robots are humans, right? Like this only works against us. We shouldn't yeah. be teaching them this. Scientists try to teach robot to laugh at the right time. And of course the robot is a woman. And I'm like, men will do anything. Except learn to make a funnier joke. Did you see how they taught her? These all these guys had signed up for speed dating. Oh, that's so that's so pathetic. <laughs> like, you have to have a robot laugh at your jokes. Well, I don't know that they signed up for robot speed no, dating. They, no, they, they were like, "Hey, you want to come and talk to the robot as part of your speed dating?" I guess they said yes. Again, though, it feels like that's just training a cat girl, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean. Uh -oh. I don't know. You think a cat girl would be easy to amuse? I feel like she. They be want her like, to be. No, they want her to be easy to amuse because then you can charge more for her services. I guess I, I don't. I never. Cat I expect, girl makes you dinner and laughs at all your jokes. I expect cat girl to have cat personality, which would be like she doesn't care about me at all. <laughs> she just knocks your shit off the, <laughs> the countertop. She's just always telling me that she wants food, and sometimes I get to pet her. <laughs> <laughs> Nanorax. I guess that's the name of this company. Uh, you know, I never considered it before because we, you know, we talk about manufacturing in space and you realize like every time you manufacture in space, you're creating Kessler syndrome. Yeah. It's going to be a real problem. How do you solve it? Well, they've done it on a very small scale. Nanorex cut a piece of metal in space for the first time. 
Turns out you have to have a structure around it. And I guess vacuums to get all the space dust. Yeah. Vacuums in the vacuum. That'd be a good company name for that. It can be a title for this episode, but we'll forget by Monday. We had two great titles last week and we completely forgot. Forgot them. both. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of my dreams. Do you? I do sometimes, but I don't wake up in the middle of the night like, <gasps> like freaked out. I don't have nightmares very often. How often do you have dreams you consider bad? It's been a while since I've had a bad dream. You probably are doing very good as far as dementia then. Let's hopeful. Bad dreams in middle age could be a sign of dementia risk, study suggests. I can't think of the last nightmare I had. I have the uh, the kick sometimes. Oh, like you lay down and you feel like you fall? Yeah, and in the dream I'm falling and I kick and I wake myself up. Do you think that would count as a... I don't uh, think so. No, the way they made it sound in the article was like... You wake up and like you're drenched in a cold sweat or like scream, like yeah. a night terror kind of thing. Definitely not for a while, but I've definitely had the recurring like I signed up for this class, but I didn't go the whole semester. <laughs> yeah, I had that dream a lot when yeah. I first got out of college. I haven't had one like that for a while, but. Back during the summer, I had to battle some ants in my home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, those little granules that you just sprinkle around your house. Those was good. Those are oh, solid. I Completely solved my ant issue, but they can never truly be defeated. Because their numbers are just too high. Scientists have calculated that there are four quadrillion ants on Earth. 20. Or 20 quadrillion ants. Ooh. I think it was like 2.5 million per person. Something like that. Which is more than our mass, right? Yeah. Considerably more. Wasn't that one of the Vindicators on Rick and Morty? It's like million ant man. Probably that was a low number. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in the... Uh, Arctic or the Antarctic, as far as we know. So if the ants ever take over, we can go there. And be and that, safe for a while. That'll be our final base. That's why be, we have to be afraid of global warming. It's going to be real tough to survive there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If it gets too warm, then like, the ants can, will infiltrate everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. What are, couldn't, if you lived in a place that was like had standing water, that would defeat the ants, right? There's some ants that can float. Have uh, you seen them make the little rafts? I have seen that. Yeah. And also termites really like that mosquitoes uh, we're trading one problem for another one yeah the ants are pretty benign and I'm, I'm now scared to death of mosquitoes yeah oh yeah <laughs> insects in general probably yeah. have to be more terrifying to you mm-hmm. i after reading this i'm not really that much clear on it it seems like they set out knowing that they would get stopped from doing this it feels more like they're just making a statement it could also be parody but if nobody can ever see it is it parody I don't make any sense. I mean, we got an article in the verge so i think flouting the joker's copyright is funny and i'm tired of pretending it isn't so there's a movie called the people's joker which we may never see because is it parody is it not parody it's definitely not authorized they, yeah so they made this movie and it's supposed to be like a joker origin story but it's an alternate telling and they're like we basically want this to be public domain and to belong to the people but the way that corporations own every piece of art and entertainment, like you can't do that anymore. Maybe that's what, you know, level one can help organize is the copyright maximalism. Let's just dial it back. We don't need 100 year copyrights. It should be like 30. That was their years. point in the article. They're like, it's fine if you're a creator and you want to make something, you should be able to monetize it. But like, you shouldn't have, you know, generations of people still living off of it hundreds yeah. of years later. But this was not even in good faith. They knew what they were doing. Oh, Why yeah. not just call it the crown, the clown prince? Yeah, uh, and avoid that altogether. Because I think they're trying to make a statement about copyright. And, you know, there's more statements in there too. Yeah. I won't say what they are, but there uh, was other reasons they were looking for attention. And uh, this keeps coming back these stories because <laughs> it seems like the social media campaigns are so good yeah. that the people show up. It's probably just three students trolling. That's such a good troll, though, right? Yeah. Uh, we're talking Superintendent, about it. Superintendent, no, we don't provide litter boxes for students who identify as cats. It's the same school system over and over again. Now, I, got, I wasn't able to understand because the name's in it, but it sounds like the people who were protesting against this came as, like, one woman brought another woman on a leash to talk to the school board. You know how they do the yeah. public yeah. comments? Yeah. And the other one just meowed the entire time. <laughs> and that was their way of like bringing attention to the fact that the children were doing this and how insane that was. Yeah. But they're saying the children are not doing this. Yeah. This is, it's, another, it's, a, it's another version of the TikTok uh, NyQuil chicken challenge. Can you imagine being the parent dressed up like a cat meowing in the 
corner of the superintendent's office and it's I'm like not, what? I'm not positive those people are always parents. They're just random people. Yeah, just random. I think a lot of times they are. Yeah, and that's even weirder yeah. if you think about it that well, way. Well, if you didn't let them in, that would be taxation without representation. Uh-huh. I mean, I do. <laughs> I do pay school taxes. I should be able to go and if you want to, if you want to dress up like a cat and talk to the superintendent. You know what I would prefer is to not pay school taxes because I don't have children. <laughs> uh, I would disagree with this. I mean, PUBG is no more violent than any other video game, less so than some. I would argue that you should ban it just because it's bad. <laughs> PUBG is too violent and must be banned, says the Taliban. Okay. I don't... Lol. Like, most of the... I mean, you see a little bit of blood splatter if you hit someone from a distance, but, like, you don't... There's not really a lot of graphic gore in it. No. And it, I don't even think it does the thing where the blood spatters on the wall behind them, does it? No, nothing like that. A lot of like games that. will do that. It's literally just an indicator to show that you hit them at distance. But even if you, like, punch someone up close, you don't get any real reaction. Like I said, it's bad. So many newer games doing it better than that, showing you all the violence. But I imagine that's because, you know, they're the people they want to recruit. They feel like it's like, oh, they're just wasting all day on their phone playing PUBG. Let's ban that. (laughs) They're not learning proper weapon mechanics from PUBG. I recently had to do some some medical stuff. And, of course, Wendell is still embroiled in a horrific it's fine. situation of it's not fine they don't know what's they can't help you and it's just like <laughs> they're oh, like well you haven't died we'll run some more tests welcome to modern medicine we don't know just keep giving us money and uh this woman at the end of the article she was she made the statement it's like yeah next time i probably just won't go that's where i am right now too <laughs> uh, you probably just should suffer because it's going to be better than what happens here woman billed 700 dollars after sitting in an er waiting room for seven hours and leaving without treatment they got her info, and then they were like, ah, let's just run a bunch of stuff. They admitted, once they have your social security number, that is the emergency room fee. That's where the bill happens. You don't have to see anybody. Just sitting there. I've heard that before, too, but that makes zero sense to me, because you're not even wasting time or resources. Like, they literally just, t- like, they you wasted maybe five minutes of their time? Are you telling me that it was $700 to have a nurse take my info? What about all that free air conditioning? There was a there was a, a case here where something like that happened and the judge was like, no, you, that, that doesn't work that way. You know, she was there for seven hours. She might have charged her phone. Mm. <laughs> she watched that free cable and the, read those old, uh, what are the mag- the kids' magazines? Some highlights. Like- she read the highlights in the, the lobby. Uh, and another Tesla recall. I have to admit, this one seems a little... Uh, you know, like, this is true of any car window. No, they many of them have sensors when it feels resistance. Oh, it'll stop. It'll, it. Like a garage door. Mm. Apparently, Tesla skipped that part. <laughs> Over one million Teslas were called because windows can pinch fingers. You can say that about the doors too, right? That doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Well, the doors are under your control. Yeah. Rather than a motor uh-huh. in the door. So, but they said no one had ever reported this problem. Apparently, the uh, NTSB or whoever. Tests. Found it on their own. I mean, there's probably like a standard. I bet they take like a hot dog or something and stick it in there. <laughs> they actually use real toddlers. Free range. <laughs> and this one's great just because of who this guy is. He's the uh, chief operating officer of uh, one of the fake meat companies. Beyond Meat, CEO arrested for biting man's nose near Razorback Stadium. There's surveillance footage. He, uh, well, that's in the jail. I saw the mug shot and he did not look happy. So that guy, it was just a small fender bender. Yeah. And I think the other guy was at fault. And somehow that escalated into nose biting. That's just <laughs> crazy. And this guy is in charge of a major publicly traded company. Beyond meat. Apparently nose. It's nose. Nose is on the menu. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, the queen. Uh, so we were talking about this earlier. Chris, do you think that's wrapped up now? I thought it was wrapped up. So because they, the Commonwealth countries, I think all had like Monday off as a day of mourning. But I, I thought she was already buried. But maybe so I'm wrong. She's in the hole. Now, do we determine that she goes into a crypt and not a Yeah, I think she gets, she gets buried at, a, well, buried, I guess, like uh, at the Church of England because she's technically the head, right? Mm. So we saw a variety of ways that people were showing their respect. The grocery store turned down the beeps. And a lot of people canceled things. Uh, Channel 5 apparently was not as big a fan of the Queen. <laughs> Channel 5 honors the Queen's funeral with a somber screening of the Emoji movie. Okay. Hmm. So they chose not to carry the feed 
I suppose that's because children will not watch it, right? Yeah. yeah. So while everybody else is watching that, kids can watch the emoji movie. That might not actually be a terrible strategy. There may have been some engagement challenge. Are you a thankful parent that there was something to watch other than the funeral? Although we have, we're spoiled for options, though. Like, yeah, you don't have to watch a funeral. <laughs> Could you not just turn on the Netflix children's section? You have an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kanye West with this headline. Uh, I mean, it sounds kind of crazy, but then again, I'm not surprised at all by it. No, uh, not even a little. Yee says he's never read any book. Reading is like eating Brussels, Brussels sprouts. But oh. Brussels sprouts are delicious. They're the best vegetable. <laughs> but he's a big Jesus guy, so he's never oh. read the Bible. Well, yeah. he says he is. And that's only after a long media frenzy over the last couple of years. How do you never read a book? I uh, I don't, you know, I'm not too surprised by that. I mean, he may just be saying that to get media coverage, but like, I know a lot of people who never read. He also, the, the quote was just like, uh, reading is like some terrible food, whereas talking is like, and he mentioned a specific restaurant's corn ravioli, like a high end <laughs> yeah. exclusive, like, oh yeah, Kanye, we can all relate to that. Yeah. Being <laughs> an illiterate rich guy. Well, so many of those, a real every man. <laughs> And uh, we got some protesters who, uh, <laughs> this is funny because it's like, uh, hey, mate, you got a license for that adhesive? <laughs> <laughs> license. Protester who glued himself to Nanaimio bank is sentenced with the condition that he cannot possess adhesives. Man, hope he never needs to fix something. <laughs> he he's, allowed to, he's allowed to have them at home, oh, okay. but he can't leave the house with them. Well, that seems kind of like a low effort protest here, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, it... Really, he's just opened the door for everybody. I'm your doorman now. <laughs> this is my life now. Uh, hey, listen, Mr. Protester, I have a FedEx package coming later. Can you sign for that? <laughs> that would be uh, Although I'm actually right-handed, so I can't. <laughs> well, then, like, it's fine. You can just make any mark. After reading this one, I have no more understanding of any of it. Like, this story is bizarre. <laughs> Take a poop to assert ownership during eviction, says Vancouver City Council candidate. This doesn't make any sense at all. So did you take it that he was pro landlord in this equation? No, I no, thought it was yeah. uh, pro tenant. Like the tenant is like you're marking your space. Yeah, it's like it's basically saying squatters, right? <laughs> but how? But you're already pooping in that house. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Leaving evidence behind, they can't easily get rid of. It makes no sense. Nah, see, this has got to be from the landlord perspective because he says get permission from the tenant, and they have to be right. And they have the right. So he's backtracking here and saying, like, don't poop on, don't do unauthorized pooping. Oh, okay. But I don't understand how that would help your situation. I don't know. Are you supposed to not flush it? Was was the whole, <laughs> the whole rationale with squatters' rights? Like, do we, do we squatters need to have a history right. lesson with that? Was that when there were, there were, you know, was rampant homelessness, but the, but also rampant unoccupied properties? Then we have that. Yeah, that's yeah. happening. Again. I mean, it's happening now, but originally where that came from was an even more escalated version of where we are now, right? And I don't think it fixed anything. No. I mean, it's, it's not a workable solution to the problem, but I don't think taking a dump is either. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing here is still really short. Like if you, if you are in, you know, adverse possession of something for a relatively short amount of time, it becomes yours. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that should be how that works. Kind of breaks down the rule of law. Uh, I'll, the thing that really stood out to me from this story is that North Dakota lacks a lot of public services. Yeah, well, it's a pretty barren state, from what I understand. Is that? Does, you think that would be like a a great place to go? I don't know, I, I'm I'm attracted to that kind of lifestyle. Yeah. GoFundMe created for a woman arrested for bringing a raccoon into North Dakota bar. You can't go anywhere without a raccoon unless you got its papers. Well, turns out there's no such thing as raccoon papers. You're not allowed to have them at all. She found this one. The mom had been roadkill, so she gathered up the baby and raised it. So it was domesticated, as far as you can domesticate a raccoon. But in North Dakota, you cannot do that under any circumstance. I think that's oh, yeah. fairly common around here. Like I've known several families who've taken in a raccoon and raised it as their own. I think around here, you're technically not allowed to domesticate a possum. But people, there's, people there's, do. there's just no getting away from the possum diseases. Rabies. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the big thing. And... She claimed that the cops were like, listen, we're going to take it and we're going to observe it for 10 days. And if we don't see any rabies, we're going to release it into the wild. And they took it and shot it in the head immediately. 
because they don't play those games. It's like, no, rabies, we don't mess around. If this were a dog or a cat, maybe. But a raccoon, no, you just shoot it. So. I'm, I'm too big of a softy. It makes me feel sad. Oh, you know what? I uh, I had my, a mouse in my garage. Did you kill it? And I put one of those, uh, like, trap, you know, the good traps. Yeah. Where you can just smash its head later. I mean, I'm not going to put it outside. I know it's just going to come back in. But it never worked. And then I put down a glue trap, and I forgot. Oh, and today, because no. I, I do, I don't want him to die like that. Yeah. But today I found him, and he was uh, he was dry. Uh, Oops. Yeah. He had uh, he had taken the glue trap all the way across the other end of the garage, and he was a tiny little guy. Oh. He, uh, you should have put your cats in there. Let them try to get him to get in the glue trap. Yeah, that'd not be in the funny. glue trap. But I'm saying to get the mouse. Yeah, he came and went. Like he didn't live in there. But he's able to get in through the garage door. Yeah. So, yeah, he he left fur in a glue trap previously. Mm. So he rolled a high saving throw last time. Not this, <laughs> this time. His luck. Yeah, his you luck think he would have learned. Yeah, you would think so, right? Yeah. Such a tiny little guy, too. I feel bad about that. Though. I don't want any animal to have to die on a glue trap. That's huh. that's a rough way that's to go. That's a lot of suffering. And uh, apparently the United States people are also suffering. <laughs> and, uh, you know, more abstract way and the government is saying that we need to screen these people so that we can separate them and <laughs> exploit them for the first time u.s task force proposes a recommendation to screen for anxiety in adults i think that i'm perfectly well adjusted <laughs> i wouldn't fall into this you know what uh, i when i you've experienced this too going to hospitals right they give you that little checklist yeah and there's the probing questions about like do you feel safe right now have you been depressed? Do you have you felt like taking your own life? And it's just like I would never answer those truthfully, even if they were <laughs> true, because I'm not giving you that. You know, that's the uh, what do they do? What's the name of the thing where they can put you under observation for like 48 hours? Psychiatric hold. A hold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we ain't never doing that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great way to just bill your insurance. Yeah, if they'll bill you for a seven-hour wait in a like I'm Chris has a physical reaction. Yeah, it looks so painful. It does. It looks awful. There's nothing attractive about that at all. Uh, but this is. Um, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm just comparing this to a story we did last week. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know where I'm going with yeah. this, right? I think most of you will know. There's, what I'm there, you got to think about the story from last week for this to make sense. Well, no, I mean this stands on its own. But <laughs> when you compare it to the story from last week and the difference in treatment, oh, is yeah. what I'm looking at. Yeah, I was forced to move out of my plane seat after complaints about my, I don't know, uh, you can see in the picture. Deformities. <laughs> oh, God. So, I've had some friends who've had to have reductions. They were nothing like this. They were just naturally well endowed. And, like, they the, the description of, like, the back pain that they were having, I can't even imagine this. Like, <laughs> I feel like you would just be bent over all the time. That has to be painful. Uh, I She's so pretty. Why would she? Uh, oh, what has happened here? I've clicked on. Ooh. Oh, it's a pop under. A pop under. The old school pop under. Domain expired. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. But uh, so she claims, and you know, I can I can kind of uh, commiserate with the other passengers here, right? You, yeah. you don't want to sit. She claimed that she was sitting next to a couple. And the woman was getting pissed because the she was next to the guy, mm. and there was no way she couldn't rub against him. Right. So he was getting like you know shoulder rubs the entire <laughs> time, and the woman was very upset about that. She also said the other stewardesses, or what do we call them now, flight, flight attendants, attendants, were the female ones were very mean to her. She mm. says it sounds like you know maybe if you smell poop everywhere you go, you should check the bottom of your own shoe. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, there's also, like, morbidly obese people get on planes. Yeah. Uh -huh. How's that any different? Sometimes they make you get two seats. She should have to get two. That makes yeah. sense, right? Yeah. So, because she, she said, she mentioned she got an economy seat. So, mm -hmm. those are small anyway. It's wild. Look how, look at the stretch marks. It looks, and it's just, it ugh. just looks painful. Like, that cannot be comfortable. And you can never go back from that. No, no. no like, you stretch your skin. I was the guy that the, the hatchet attack guy that I was talking about earlier at the McDonald's. He had the stretched out ears, but he had, didn't have anything in there. Yeah. Probably because they pulled him out when he put him in jail. Mm. I don't know why they didn't take him to jail. That didn't make any sense. But like that just looks so awful. Yeah. Like, it's really just mutilation. It's scary. Although I'm sure she's doing quite well financially based on this, right? Uh, there is a group that. But she was flying economy. Whoa. Yeah, listen, she likes a bargain. 
Anyway. Ugh. I love how you just cross it. It hurts. Out. Like just it imagining that pain. It doesn't. I'm thinking about you know for some reason it's like how would you ever just lay down and take a nap? There's no way that you would be able to get she comfortable. Couldn't, couldn't lay down like you know as soon as you lay on your stomach. I couldn't do that. They she mentioned when she was sitting in the galley of the plane because you know they got those seats that just fold down, so you're kind of like scrunched over because they don't lean back at all. And they gave her a pillow to put in between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The choices we make. Uh, strange chat. But you should make the choice to visit us next week when we do the whole thing again. Or go to Patreon or Floatplane and subscribe there if you want to support our content. Yay! Though don't feel obligated in these strange times. Or pick up a KVM. Right, we'll see you guys then. There's Bye! A bug on the table. Bye!